The Ministry of Defense had decided to overhaul the existing cyber security systems with another made in India operating system. The indigenously developed operating system named Maya OS. This operating system based on Ubuntu, a popular Linux distribution that uses open source and seeks to replace the Windows operating system. These steps were taken owing to the growing threats of malware and ransomware attacks. So behind the idea of Maya OS. The idea of Maya was first coined in the year 2021. Maya OS takes us one step closer to Atmanirbhar Bharat. The developers of the Maya are none other than the Ministry of Defense. For the development of the same, several government agencies, software agencies and academic institutions were roped in, including the Center for Development of Advanced Computing, CDEC and the National Informatics Center to test and develop the OS Maya OS remarkably took only six months to develop. A tech expert on OS explained how the user will not find a difference in the OS and asserted the direction being given to install the Maya OS on all computers connected with the internet in South Block by August 15. One crucial feature to add here, Maya is laced with a feature called Chakraview. It is an endpoint detection and protection system made with indigenous technology to protect sensitive data from hackers. So Maya OS, what's in the name? One may say what's in the name, but there is so much in the name. Maya derives its name from the Indian concept of illusion. The name is a replica of an illusion that hackers shall face while trying to hack into defense ministry systems. The same goes for naming the anti-malware Chakraview. It traces its name to the military combat technique in the ancient Hindu epic, the Mahabharata, and is thus there to block the malware. About the Maya OS UI, the first impression that comes to mind is that it commonly supports various apps and software that Ministry of Defense uses. Microsoft Office, Adobe Softwares, AutoCAD, Cloud Storage, Data Encryption, Biometrics, you name it all, the Maya OS will give it all. So the rollout and range ahead, but this week, MOD has officially stated that by the end of year, all of its computer will have Maya OS installed, replacing the preferred Windows operating system. The current status of the Maya OS says it is in the evolution state. But what may shock the netizens is the fact that Maya OS mimics the look and even feel of Windows. Not only does Maya OS enhance Indian cybersecurity and remove dependence on foreign software, but it also promotes indigenous innovation. No wonder we see the Digital India and Atmanirbhar Bharat initiatives fulfilled at the same time. The Defence Ministry has further announced that the Indian military is soon going to adopt the Maya operating system. The Indian Army and Indian Air Force are evaluating it while the Indian Navy has procured it. Maya is not the sole cause which shows how MOD is on a mission to safeguard the cyber interest of the nation. There have been several incentives taken by Rajnath Singh's ministry under the Modi government. Be it the Indian Cyber Crime Coordination Center to deal with cyber crime in India, the Cyber Surakshit Bharat initiative to spread awareness about cyber crime or the Cyber Swachita Kendra under the Digital India Initiative, a free tools platform to clean botnets and malware. Cyber security is a serious business for the center and it has fulfilled it successfully so far. So is Maya a step in the right direction? Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has time and again reiterated the call for global efforts to counter cyber attacks, but has also been vocal about creating an indigenous IT ecosystem. The government of India has been long considering coming up with the antidote to the long-standing cyber warfare espionage and anti-theft issues prevailing within the ministries and departments of India. Maya OS fulfills it. Thus, using an indigenous OS in the shape of Maya OS only adds to the national security which only needs to be welcomed with open arms. Remember, not all wars are fought on the battlefield. Some are fought in cyberspace. Maya OS will equip us well for that.